So let's say we've got $25,000 account. We can risk 2%, $500. Okay. So let's just say we start with $25,000 account. Whenever we want to put on a trade, the maximum we want to lose is 2%, which in this particular case is $500. So if we buy a stock at a dollar, the first thing we have to do is determine where our protective stop loss is. And that should be determined by the technical picture of the stock. Okay, so you can pick a level of support, whatever it may be, put your stop under there. So you'll put your stop down at, say, 90 cents. So your risk is between your theoretical entry and your theoretical exit. There's always a chance, unless you're using a GSL, that the stock, the stock will gap below that level. There's always a chance. So what we want to do is divide 10 into 500. Oops. So we can buy 5,000 shares. We can do that at a dollar. If our stop loss gets hit, we get $4,500 back. We're out of pocket $500. We're out of pocket 2%. That's the equation you've got to make every single time you do a trade. Just set up a little Excel spreadsheet. Just put in your account balance, your risk you want to do, do the calculations, you put in your entry and your exit price. The same is true for a short position, it doesn't matter. All you want to do is take the difference between your entry and your exit, divide the difference into your 2% of capital, and away you go. So let's say our first trade there was a loser. We've lost $500. Our account balance, when we go to do our next trade, is $24,500. Our risk on this particular trade is now $490. So let's assume we've got the exact same trade we want to do. We want to get in at a dollar, add at 90 cents. So 490 divided by 0.1. So instead of trading 5,000 shares this time, we can only trade 4,900. So if this trade's a losing trade, we're only going to lose $490, not $500. And this will go on. So as you're losing money, you're losing less and less and less. When you're doing something right, do more of it. When you're doing something wrong, do less of it. You don't see too many people banging their head against the wall and keep doing it, do you? They generally stop, generally. So that's what that's all about. But if you flip that the other way as well, it compounds automatically for you. So when you're doing something right, do more of it. In other words, we're still betting 2%, but we're betting 2% of a bigger account balance which means our risk is slowly rising.